Recently, I was talking with a breastie and I realized I'm at peace with something. When you're diagnosed with something like cancer, you're going to experience some losses and you should absolutely mourn them. The loss of your hair, the loss of freedom, the loss of your social life, and sometimes the loss of people, and it's not because they died. Unfortunately, you're going to experience that some people will pull away or completely disappear. When I was first diagnosed and I was ready to tell everyone, everyone was so supportive and I felt so much love and they rallied and they offered to help. Of course, I never took anyone up on it, you know, because I'm an independent woman. People would often check on me and it was always a fine line of telling just enough and not telling too much. And eventually some pulled away, either unintentional because they were busy with their own lives or they couldn't handle it. See, when most people hear the word cancer, they automatically think the worst, even though that isn't always the case. I only had one person that I can actually recall that asked about my prognosis, and that was only because her sister is a breast cancer survivor, so she was familiar with it. Some will pull away because the thought of losing you is too much and they cannot handle it, so it's easier to ghost you, and honestly, they're probably doing it unintentionally. Others will disappear because it's uncomfortable. They don't know what to say or what to do or how to help. It's awkward for them, and I get that. The reason this came up is because my friend is also done with her treatment and recently had her exchange surgery, marking the end of this. So she's excited to move on and close this chapter, as we all are. And she mentioned wanting to reconnect with people that distanced themselves during her treatment, which floored me and gives me goosebumps. And I absolutely applaud that. That is the first time I've ever heard anybody wanting to do that. It's always been the opposite. People are saying that they're too hurt and these people obviously didn't love them enough to stick around and they're basically dead to them. It takes a special person to do that. Trying to reconnect and mend a friendship requires so much more energy than simply letting it go. I was so proud and happy for her to be able to see the big picture. Over the past year, I have felt so many emotions. I've thought about saying something about this before, but I was still angry and hurt and sad. But now I get it. It's not personal. In fact, I'm probably guilty of doing it to others too in the past. I couldn't handle it. It was too much for me, which is selfish, but it's true. And it had nothing to do with them. And now that I'm done with treatment and the dust is starting to kind of settle, I feel like I'm at peace. I know who has stayed by my side and even had acquaintances suddenly step up and become close friends. I have no hard feelings towards the ones that pulled away. To me, it is what it is. I'm not mad anymore. And if we reconnect, cool. And if not, that's okay too. Cancer or not, life is too short to spend being angry or wasting any energy on stuff I cannot control. I am going to continue living my best life and focusing on me and mine and not worry about that stuff. So I hope this helps someone out there maybe process what is happening in their own lives. It's not you, it's them, and try not to take it personally.